dog. Not a big dog, a little dog. I heard a story about six friends and a dog that hiked up the Stanley Glacier in the Rocky Mountains near the Alberta-BC border. The hikers descended down the switchbacks through a burn area that fell victim to a forest fire 23 years earlier, which left a lot of crossed timber and, and fallen trees that laid over top the new growth. There was a gap between the hikers as they were coming down the mountain and about 20 feet ahead of the second hiker, there was something or someone standing along the path. The something or someone looked the second hiker square in the eye and then leapt across the path and ran down the slope of the mountain. Initially, the hiker thought it was just a kid. Suddenly, the dog that was at the back of the group ran past the lead hiker and chased the person or animal or whatever it was down the side of the mountain. The hikers gathered together to see what the commotion was all about. And all they could see was something moving among the trees. All they could hear was the dog barking and the sound of trees breaking. The chase lasted for about a minute and then everything stopped. And then they heard a tree being pushed back and forth, back and forth. They followed the sound until they spotted it from above. And on the fifth sway, the tree fell and the dog stopped barking. The hikers feared that the dog had been killed by the fallen tree. So its owner quickly went down the slope to find his dog. He was immediately stopped in his tracks by the abundance of fallen timber, and he was not able to continue down the slope. The dog eventually returned. But the hikers quickly realized whatever or whoever the dog had chased was able to go down the slope where none of them could. When questioned about what the person or thing was wearing, the second hiker said he couldn't tell because it was covered with long hair. So, let me ask you this. Are you ready for your next assignment? What's next? <laughs>